that was some dodgy slip back there. Now we're drifting down my beloved Vistula River in my home city, Krakow, where I was born a couple of years ago. I'm back in Poland for a couple of days and um, seeing some amazing fish this chap there was catching lately. I couldn't resist and just jump in for a day. Um, but the real reason is I've purchased my own boat a couple of uh, weeks ago. I will wait a couple of months for it to be uh, ready. And uh, this day today is for me to have a look at, um, at the electronics, Garmin electronics, how they work, what do they do, the life scope, um, and just help me decide what to get on my boat. And Pavel very kindly has offered to take me on his boat and show me Garmin, show me the electronics, show me how everything works. I hope to be able to show you a couple of uh, things here and also make my mind in terms of what do I need on my boat. Thanks for choosing to watch this video. If you enjoyed it and the channel, do give it a like, subscribe and click that bell notification button. And enjoy some big catfish action. Last time I was fishing Vistula, I was sitting there by that hotel. I was sitting there and fishing a Bolognese method. Fishing for big bream from the middle of the river. And I've actually managed to uh, take a second place. I was still a junior back then and I've managed to uh, secure a second place having a, quite a few big bream, three, four, five pound bream just from around there. Lovely fishing. So what we're doing today is trying to get big catfish. Pavel, Pavel, say hi. Hi, hi. He's a great local uh, catfish angler and they're getting some crackers. A couple of days ago, they got one 2.15 of a meter, a giant of a fish. Kamil Walitki, shout out to you, Kamil. Was fishing here with Pavel and got amazing fish. Um, so it's just a couple of days later now, being here and wanted to see the Garmin Force motor and the Garmin electronics. That plan is already ticked. The electronics is looking fantastic, as you, you could see there. Um, the big fish, you can see the bait, you can see the fish. It's amazing actually how much feedback you get. So now we're just trying to get one to take. It's never easy, but we'll keep trying with a few more hours to go. technique we're using is vertical jigging and I have the teaser you've seen and a bunch of lobworms. It's actually a full box of lobworms, it's not a bunch, it's a bloody box full of them. And Pavel is of a on a live bait and we're just using the electric motor and then anchoring with it. And um, we've seen a few quite a big fish, we've seen a few two meters plus fish. None of them has taken or stayed for too long yet but um, it's still time to get one. Also, I wanted to check this uh, trolling motor to see if it's any good. So we are on the an in the anchor mode at the moment. Can you hear it? I can't. So 
So we're in the river and the wind is blowing downstream. So it's a fairly strong current and a fairly strong wind. You can hear this thing or I can hear this thing. And we are pretty much in the same spot for a couple of minutes now. Just a reference point. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's quite impressive actually. Yeah, not moving. And what we have now here is uh, two baits in the water. We have the lobworm on the left rod, that's mine. And we have a live bait on the other rod. You can see it down there. That's, um, this one here is, is mine. That's me jigging it up and down. That's some amazing technology there. And the other bait, you can see it there. It's the live bait. So now each one of these is a um, one meter scale, one meter gap. So now we need a fish that will take two of these gaps. That's the one we want. We've seen actually three of them already. But we're yet to get some contact, hopefully later on. Beautiful evening. Now we had a fairly close contact with one uh, catfish about 1.5 meters. It didn't take it, but it returned a couple of times. Have it was making the noise. It, it's supposed to be um, driving catfish towards that sound. Sometimes it scares them, sometimes it brings them back. Now that fish ma made a couple of turns and went after the bait. It was fairly close to my bait, but it didn't commit to take it. But it was a uh, hard in the mouth still seeing that fish so close to my bait just staring at it. And it's amazing, if not for the technology we, we have here on the boat now, we wouldn't even know the fish was anywhere near our bait. Whereas it was literally a couple of inches away, a couple of inches away. So um, that was as close as we've seen a catfish today. And um, we're just changing a spot now, we're going to spot number four. And uh, hopefully we'll see something interesting there. So. Uh, Fingers crossed. Regardless if we catch anything or not, it's amazing to be back here and fishing. Just had a take there. All of a sudden, the catfish appeared on the uh, sounder and the next thing, bam, it just hit the, the lobworm I had there. It didn't hook itself. It, uh, it must have felt the hook and, and, and it ran away. Like it, it disappeared right away, but it was amazing. I actually was watching it on the screen as it hit the lobworms and I seen it getting the, the, the thing into its mouth and then turning around very quickly and disappearing there. Hard in the mouth stuff, really hard in the mouth stuff, but it was great to get some contact. Sean is going down, as you can see, he's behind the, uh, he's behind the buildings there. Uh, it's a sunset, beautiful, and we just had a contact with a catfish. So we'll stay here for another hour or two. We'll see, maybe we'll be lucky enough. <sighs> Yummy. We just had a golden hour. It's after sunset now and we had some flurry of action. Quite a few catfish and some big ones as well coming up on the, uh, on the finder. A few of them almost going for the bait, staring at the bait just very closely, staring at the bait for a minute or two and then not committing. 
I was jigging and dropping a little bit and lifting a little bit just to get them to, to bite. But no, after that one bite, we've seen quite a few fish on the founder, but none of them has committed. That's a stunning view to be fishing in. And to add to that, we have a violin music playing in the background while we are fishing in a video game. On the left hand side, you can see my bait. On the right hand side, Pavel's bait. And we just had a big catfish about two meters long swam by. It's really exciting stuff. Might not be everyone's thing, but one thing must be said. It is mind blowing the technology that's out there these days. What you're looking at here are uh, three, <laughs> probably too, too many, but three uh, live scope uh, screens uh, from Garmin. The one on the left hand side is showing uh, downwards. And then we have uh, two perspectives, one looking behind the boat and the other one looking in front of the boat. The first thing that comes to mind is all that technology and we still can't catch a single fish. But the night is not over yet, although it's midnight already, I can guarantee you the best action is still ahead of you. You will see a catfish very soon and either it will be my catfish, we'll be here for a little longer, so either it will be my catfish or I will show you one of Pavel's monsters, just not to leave you hanging here in the video. Just pay attention to this live scope view. You're looking at the live take of a catfish here and it's not a small one, it's a two meters fish, give or take. So uh, pay close attention to what's happening here on the screen. As for the technology, while it might not be everyone's cup, cup of tea, it's um, clear that all the gadgets in the world will not catch you a fish if they're not in the mood. And the mood, they were as hell today. One hit, one another pull, and that's it for uh, quite a few hours on the water. You could easily say, that there were no fish here and we are mad trying to catch them. I would have probably thought it was some small coarse fish or a perch pulling the end of the lobworms when I had some contact. The thing is, the live scope technology showed us between 10 and 15 cats around and over the magical two meters mark and countless, countless numbers of smaller fish. It also showed that um, the one that hit the, 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 the bait and others quite intrigued by our lobworms and live bait. So um, while all this technology will not catch your fish, still the last step is up to them. It helped me to learn a ton today. Now just look at what's happening here and just ask yourself how many times in your fishing life you had a situation where you had a tag or a hit or a pull or whatever and you were telling to yourself, ah, that's a small fish, then hook itself, must have been a small fish. Just <laughs> Just see what's happening here. A two meters catfish playing and toying with this bait and line and pulling it a couple of times. No hookup. So let's continue to watch this and see how that develops.
Jak? Jest wspaniale. <głos> Profesora mamy. So very well, well freaking done to Paweł for catching this monster and plenty of others. This one had a 2.04 meters and brute of a fight uh, he gave. So a um, shout out to Paweł. It was an awesome, awesome day. I, I loved it big time. I learned a ton and that will surely will make me a better angler. Pavel is a very knowledgeable and a nice guy to, to fish with. If you're ever in Krakow um, on a trip with maybe your uh, missus or friends and you have a day to spare and you'd like to experience some of that, make sure to uh, give him a shout. I leave uh, Pavel's uh, details uh, Facebook page in the description so you can look him up and text him, tell him I sent you. So if you do make it happen, enjoy Krakow, enjoy the views, enjoy the fight if you're lucky enough, and I'll see you at the next one.